talk about how cute my piggy slippers are. They're baby freaking pink. Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Franz and today I decided for this week's video I was gonna tell you the worst story of my entire life and it's still an ongoing nightmare of mine because I still have not gotten it fixed. <laughs> I hate this story. I don't even want to tell you guys this story because it is horrible. I don't understand why anybody would freaking do this to somebody they don't know. This is gonna be a story on what an Instagram hater did to me when they saw me in person. So this all started when, I don't know, when I fucking made my Instagram account. Like a few months ago, someone started leaving like comments on all of my photos, calling me like a hoe, a cunt, like saying very specific things, like only calling me a hoe and only calling me a cunt on like all the photos that are like of me in a bikini and just stuff like that. I never responded to this person. I usually don't respond to hate because it's stupid. They're usually like 12 years old. But I remember I clicked on this person's account to, to block them and I remember reading their bio and it said M-I-M-I. -M -I. Don't know what that means, that's just something I remember. But that's just some preference for when I get to the part about my car, it makes more sense. So I never responded. I don't know this person at all. I literally don't know this person. I never seen them in my life. I've never done anything to them. I'm not a hoe or a cunt. I mean a cunt, I mean, eh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> a hoe, I'm definitely not. I literally have only dated two people my entire life and I've only had sex with one person my entire life. Fun facts with me. <laughs> but anyways, um, so I just blocked them. That was it. That was months and months and months ago. So now we're like a couple months down the line and I was hanging out with my friend Seth and we were going downtown just to like walk around because they were having some like festival down there and I just wanted to go to Gringo's because I love Gringo's. It's a great taco place. If you're ever in Orlando, you need to go to Gringo's. Double D's are bomb. Anyways, so we're on our way downtown. Parking downtown, if you don't know, is a nightmare. Parking downtown is a literal nightmare. So I found a parking meter that was off to the side but still close to downtown and there was nobody there so i was like oh my god a free spot i'm gonna park there i pull up and there was like a couple i think there were a couple it might have been her brother i don't know because i don't know them but they were leaning against the car so there was three spots there was a car a car and then an open spot this was like off to the side so there was not a lot of people it wasn't like in the middle of the city it was off to the side and um so i'm like pulling up and the two people are like standing right here. And the girl is just staring at me. I'm talking literally like staring at me. Like when I pull up and I park my car, she's still staring at me. Like literally now she walks in front of my car, like where my bumper is and is staring at me, literally just staring dead at me. And I put my head down, like looked like I was pretending like I was looking for something. And I was like, Seth, like why is she staring? And he was like, girl, I don't know. I think we should park somewhere else. And I was like, I ain't parking nowhere else. What's the problem? Like, I don't know her. Maybe she has a question or maybe she's just like fucking weird. I don't know. Like you would never, ever, ever just guess that this would happen. But I think any normal person probably would have moved their car. I don't know. I just didn't think that I needed to move my car. So I didn't move my car. And I get out my car. She's still staring at me, not blinking, not smiling, not making any sort of face, just straight faced staring at me. And I get out my car, I watch the parking meter and I go to put coins in. And then it says like, after 11 o'clock, you don't have to pay for the meter. And I was like, oh my God, like I don't have to pay Seth, like haha. And I looked at her and I smiled. And when I looked at her, dead serious face, still staring dead at me. And I was just like, I was like what in the world? is wrong with this girl like i didn't make a weird face i literally just looked at her and smiled i was like hi like i don't have to pay maybe she was confused about the parking meter i don't know really didn't know anything so i left and i remember i turned around a little bit and she was still staring at me watching me walk away and i'm just so thankful that i lo actually locked my car door that day because if i didn't i honestly would have cried my, my night would have been so bad i had so much money in my car that night and i had a lot of bags in my car so 
that would have been just so, so, so bad. But I'm just so thankful that I locked my car door. Anyway, so we have a great time downtown and I walk back, we're walking back, like this is hours later, we're walking back and I can already see from a distance from the street light, my car, my car is keyed. The whole thing, whole car is keyed. And my heart just sank, honestly just sank to the bottom of my body. My heart just sank so deep. And he was like, oh my God. And he was like, I'm so sorry. Like he felt so bad for me. And I felt so bad for myself. I was like, what did I do to this bitch? Like I knew exactly it was her. Like right away, who else would have done that? Like I don't have an ex that would have done that. Anything, nobody would have done that. And so like, I was just so, so fucking sad. I didn't know what to do. I was angry, I was sad. I was, all these emotions were running through me. I'm an Aries, so that's all I gotta say. I'm an Aries. Like, I was like, I'm gonna fight the next person that walks on the street. If I saw her, oh my God, I would've come to her. It was just so mad. Like, my car's my baby. I'm a car person. I've worked so hard on my car's sound system. Like, I love my car so much. And so I just got in my car and I remember I was just, shaking like my hands were literally shaking like crazy and i was just so mad i was trying so hard not to have a panic attack i was trying so hard not to freak out i was trying so hard not to cry like i didn't know what to do so i called my sister and i told her what happened and she was like oh it's probably like not that bad i'm like no i sent her the pictures i'm gonna insert the pictures here you guys oh. it's so bad through the pain down to the metal even some of the metal is scratched like it's so bad and called my sister and she said you need to make a police report don't leave make a police report so i hadn't left yet i got out my car went to go get a cop and i talked to the cop and i told him what just happened i was literally like fighting back tears I told him what happened he was like oh my god like you must have really pissed somebody off. Like, haha, you must have really pissed somebody off. And I was like, literally, I didn't do anything. Like, I don't talk to anybody that I don't know. I don't flirt with anybody's boyfriends. I don't do any of that. Like, I keep to myself. All I did was talk to Seth the entire time. Literally did not meet anybody, didn't talk to anybody, didn't anything. Like, I did nothing to deserve this. Like, none of my exes would have done this. And he was like, you must have just broken up with somebody. Like, you're probably, like, you probably woke up with somebody I was like no i didn't like nothing happened i didn't cheat on buddy and i didn't do anything and he was just like mm, like not believing me but he made the police report anyways got my car left got home called the insurance they said there's nothing they can do about it i don't know and anyways so in these photos you can see it's a hoe cunt there's some scratches on the side and then on the door it says m i m i you remember at the beginning of the story when I prefaced it with telling you guys how an Instagram account in their bio that said Mimi was calling me a hoe and a cunt on Instagram? I think it was mother Mimi on Instagram. I don't DM people. I don't steal anybody's boyfriend. If I see that somebody has a girlfriend, I'm not gonna go message them. Like, I don't know. I'm the farthest from a hoe and a cunt. If I've asked, you can ask anybody who knows me and they'll tell you that I am the farthest from a hoe or a cunt. So it's so embarrassing and I had an engine problem and I had to get my whole engine replaced. And when I took it to a few shops, I remember the guy who was towing my car for me, he was like, yeah, um, the mechanic was talking about how your car was keyed and how you must've really pissed somebody off. Like, are you kidding me? Like I literally didn't deserve that at all. And he doesn't even know that. He just assumes that I'm a hoe and a cunt. When I'm the first person like at a red light and people are crossing the crosswalk, People always like look down and read my car and laugh and it's just so, so embarrassing. <laughs> like the next day I remember when I woke up, I didn't want to, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going outside. I don't even want to look at my car. <laughs> like, I was just so mad. Have I DM'd this girl? No. Have I called the cops and said, I think I know who did it. Yes, I have talked to the cops and unfortunately there is nothing they can do about it because there is no absolute proof of anything. But whatever, everything in life happens for a reason. I needed a paint job anyway, so all this does is just pushes me forward to getting a paint job. I want another quick story here. So I get catcalled a lot, not saying I'm better than anybody else and I think I'm so hot and everything. I don't know why they call catcalled. 
girl, I don't know. And like, I just get so fed up with it. I don't dress like this in public or anything. I'm, I'm just chilling at my house. But I can't go to 7-Eleven. I can't go check my mail without being freaking catcalled by somebody. Like, I can't walk down the street. I can't go to the beach without being catcalled. And it's disgusting and annoying. But, so I was like driving down the road on my way to McDonald's. This is actually after I had filmed my last video. Um, when I was going to McDonald's. And somebody catcalled me. And that night, like, I was just like, I've had enough. Like, I've literally had enough of this so i flipped them off i was just like like that the two truckers one of them was smoking a cigarette threw their cigarette into my car while it was still lit burnt my hair burnt a hole through my brand new jacket and burnt a huge hole through my seat are you kidding me what in the what I was just so taken back. I was like, what in the f just happened? Like, and I, there's nothing I could do about it. They were already gone. Like, I was just like trying to freaking get the cigarette out of my car so it wouldn't burn a hole through my seat, but it burnt my hair, burnt a hole through my jacket, and burnt a huge hole through my driver's seat. So I don't know why people get mad and take it out on my baby. Anyways, that was the horrible story about how my car got messed up. If this made you feel, made you feel better about your life, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you guys next week.